we want patients to have an optimal experience with whatever digestive health diagnosis they're given. Every member, every physician is speaking with each other, is sharing information. Before, patients had to go to multiple different areas once they had a diagnosis. Services not commonly available in the community are now available in the community through the community physicians. Navigators get assigned to patients right at the beginning of their diagnosis, and they're essentially a personal guide. The really important thing is we want patients to feel empowered to make really good treatment decisions. A patient may go to a doctor's appointment and be told a lot of information that they're not really absorbing well. So they can come back to their navigator um, who can spend time with them, sit down, and they can say, you know, is this what I heard? Is this exactly what's going to happen? And we can kind of reiterate that. Seeing a patient right at the time of diagnosis, seeing that fear and that uncertainty and watching as, as that is alleviated, you know, as they get to know you and as you really help them through, is just a really rewarding experience. With the help of endoscopy, with the help of endoscopic ultrasound, with the help of ERCP, with the help of Barrett's radiofrequency ablation, gastroenterologists such as myself are also able to now provide the further diagnosis and treatment where now we also have the oncologists and the surgeons available to further take care of anything should anything more worrisome be found. I'm a medical oncologist, so the main thing that, that we do is primarily chemotherapy and treat patients with chemotherapy and for many complications related to chemotherapy. We really focus on um, understanding what, the, what people are going through when they carry a diagnosis of cancer and trying to uh, improve that experience and make that experience, as, even though it's a difficult time, to make that experience as, as, as good of one as possible. Colorectal surgery is a key aspect to the digestive health program as there is a growing incidence of colorectal cancer in the population. More than 95% of elective colorectal surgery at Shady Grove Medical Center is being done in a minimally invasive fashion using either laparoscopy or the Da Vinci surgical robot. This contrasts with less than half nationwide being done in this manner. There was a need in the community for having an integrative approach to treating people that have digestive health problems. The amount of time and confusion for every patient between diagnosis and the next step is to a great degree lessened. We want them to feel that from start to finish, they're part of a team of doctors that are working together. Shady Grove Medical Center is the premier location for treatment of digestive disorders in the area and now it is even enhanced by the creation of the Digestive Health Program.